Good morning, friends. Cheryl here with Inked Pulp, and it's time for another Art Before Breakfast. I'm so excited. Um, hey, I wanted to say, uh, give an apology for yesterday's video. It was mostly off screen, and I didn't realize it. So for the first time, I actually got some thumbs down on a video um, in this series. So I'm guessing it was because I was off screen so much. So I think I've adjusted that, and we'll be keeping it... In screen today so you can see the whole thing. So if you're new here, welcome. I hope you like what you see. Um, this is just a little series where I make something artistic before breakfast to get my day started. And if you're returning and you've been following my series, um, I've heard from a lot of you and it seems like you're liking it. So I will definitely keep doing it and thank you for your support. All right, today I have this little tiny mini journal. And this journal came from Your Creative Studio. I had a subscription. I have since let it lapse, but I had a subscription. And I just took things from my boxes. So all of everything you see in here is from Your Creative Studio. I mean, I did add some lace and a word, but um, all of the other pieces... I like her. She was free to follow her heart. Uh, this was not from your creative studio. Obviously, the button, the metal piece. This was um, not so much from your creative studio. This was a lot of other things. Uh, happy time. This is a seashore theme. I love this one. This is probably one of my favorites. And I actually did the splattering here, which I don't usually do. And you can never have too much happy. So this is a garden theme with the little gnome. And here we are. We are here for today. So I have so much stuff from your creative studio. Um, and I have to use it up before I even think about starting to buy again. So I have this box of stuff that didn't fit in. I... I have boxes and boxes of your creative studio stuff, but I have this one <clears throat> that was just sort of leftover stuff I had laying around. So I thought maybe we'd look at some of these stamps. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I'm looking, oh, cannabis. If anybody's into having a little cannabis, let me know. I'll send you a happy mail. I'm a self-made man. No one ever gave me anything. That's cute. Um, okay, I'm looking for something to be a focal that I can build around, and that's not it. Um, here's some little papers. Oh, how about this guy? Nope, he goes this way. Because he's on a camera. And I think if I cut it down... I think that might be just about the right size. Let me see what else I have. Oh, I like that even better. How about the bird cage? We'll do something around the bird cage. All right. So I've got all kinds of papers from them. Let's see here. These are sticker paper. Too close in color. Oh. That takes away too much from the focal. So let's keep going. Oh, I have these, and I absolutely love these. <clears throat> this is called the Antique Bookstore, and it's just little poems. Haha, <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, Wind and a Frolic, Barefoot Days. Let's look at 
barefoot days. Barefoot Days fits. We could move it down a little bit. Hmm. I think I want to do that because you can't see the actual poem or much of it. So I don't want to do that one. So this is going to take forever. Just This is how I craft. I don't know. What about you guys? Does it take you forever to find something? Okay, I have a box up here called Medium Papers, and it's got all the papers in it that are medium size, which would fit here, and I'm going to get that down and we'll look through that. So we've got a focal. Let's see. Medium papers. Hmm. <clears throat> Here we go. And I have a book full, let me tell you. Or a box full. Here we go. Here's something a little more like what I was looking for. Kind of like that, and then we can do something else with it. Maybe put some other stuff on with it. We've got nope, I like the little prints. There's some little colored papers that we can use. Oh, here's some more of those vellum stickers that I had last time I used that on one of my projects. And then we've got the Mysteries of India. Halloween Party, the New York Times, Sure Fit. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. I think I'm going to go with this uh, book print. Or type, actually it looks like dictionary paper. It's not even really just book print. Oh, I thought that was a sticker, but it is not. So... move that out of the way. Let's move that up. Oh, actually, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to go around the edges. And of course, I left my glue off. So what's everybody doing today? It's Saturday. It's a beautiful day here in the mountains of North Carolina. I mean, it is gorgeous. I went out yesterday, you guys. My husband came home from work early he said boss just gave pity on him and told him to go home and enjoy the afternoon they didn't have much going on at work and so he came home early and we put on our hiking shoes we have a state forest about seven miles from us and they have the most awesome awesome hiking trails I'm going to put this glue stick in the middle and we'll just do the tacky glue around the outside. Um, so we went hiking, and we used to go all the time. But since I had my knee surgery, we hadn't we hadn't been, and my knee surgery was like four and a half months ago. So um, we uh, put on our hiking shoes loaded up the dog and we went for a hike now i only made it two and a half miles which isn't a lot compared to what i used to do but it was all uh, rugged terrain and uphill and downhill and rocky and some of the inclines were pretty steep and i felt pretty good that i could make it the two and a half miles and 
we got back to the car and we drove over in my husband's truck and he has a um his truck sits up higher than most just i mean that and he didn't do that that's just the way it is um and the, even the step to get up into the truck is pretty high. And I've never had any trouble getting in his truck before. After that walk, that hike, I went to step on the running board and get up into the truck. And I stepped up with my good leg, not my bad one. And my leg just collapsed from under me. I haven't been hiking in so long. Now, I've been walking some. I've been walking and I'll go on you know, a couple mile walk, but that's all on paved roads and it's pretty flat, some hills, but pretty much it's flat and pretty easy walking. This hiking thing, <laughs> my leg collapsed from under me, I'm telling you what, and I could not get up into the truck. It worked my muscles so hard. I feel pretty good today. I don't, I'm not real sore today. But um, that was something else. So obviously I need to do more of that because I need to build those muscles back up to the point where they can do some hiking because, whoo, it sure felt good though. It was about low 60s here. So you didn't need a coat and, oh, it was sunny and beautiful. And we were in the forest and, uh, it was just nice. So I'm looking forward to doing more hiking. But I do need to rest just a little bit today. Um, I may go for a walk in the neighborhood so that I keep up the walking, but not that rough, rough terrain because whoo, that really gave me a workout. But anyway, that's how I spent my afternoon yesterday when I should have been making jewelry, but I have some ideas, some things I'm going to make today, some really cute earrings, and I will um, bring them to show you guys tomorrow after I get them done. Okay, there's that. Now, what else do we want on here? I've got these little pieces of vellum. Well, they're not even vellum, they're just paper, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think I'm going to tear this out, give it a torn edge. and put it behind this little birdhouse. I hate when you get those little pointy pieces. I've kind of found a way to avoid it, but sometimes it's just not avoidable. And we'll take a little bit off the top here. There's that, and there's the birdhouse. Look how pretty that is. Okay, let's find some ink, and we'll ink this baby up, and we'll see what else we want to put on here. So I saw some pictures on um facebook this morning of people who have like tons of snow and i'm thinking holy cow we have had um we had little flurries one time where we could see the flakes coming down out of the sky but it never stuck to the ground um we have not had one time this year where the snow has stuck to the ground and made everything white. We just haven't had any snow this year. Now we've only lived here a couple of years, but from what we've seen, that's not usual. Oh yeah, 
I really like that a lot. I like it a lot. And I've got all this stuff from your creative studios. I'm just going to put stuff right in the middle in case I want to tuck something else underneath. Let's put that on. That is pretty. Look at that. Some little botanicals. Um, so that's those. And let's ink up our little birdhouse. I wanted to find, I think, a little stamp to put behind that because they send the cutest stamps. Um, no, those aren't, hmm, what did I call them? I guess miscellaneous stickers because they are all stickers. Let's put that on. Let's put the cap on the glue. And these may be too busy with the flower and there's some little tickets. I like those. So here's some of the little stamps and then there's some bigger ones as well. have lots of stamps. This is why I make up those little ephemera packs um, to sell in my sales because I have so much of this stuff and um, I mean I might as well let some other people enjoy in the goodness because I will never use it all. Okay so I've got something like that and I can cut that out. Um, I don't like that one. This one is art clippings. Oh, this has got some retro stuff in it. Here's one with some birds on it. To go with the bird cage. Let's cut that baby out and see what it looks like. I've got the scissors that will cut. If I can find them in here. Where did they go? I've got a whole bunch of these um, patterned scissors, and I've got one that gives me the really nice. Um, The nice edge for, there it is, last one I looked at. And it may not be exact, may not exactly line up with the holes, but it'll still give us the idea. And they don't cut very well through this stamp material. Not at all. These are real cheap ones. I have a pair from Fiskars. That is the stamp also, but it's um, a smaller pattern. So I don't know that they would work really well. So let's just do these and then we'll ink around the edge. So we'll cover up anything that's white. There we go. All right. Let me ink that up. And this is a stamp, so I can put that down. But we'll see what it looks like when I get it inked up here. It's kind of slick material. It's like washi material, so it's not taking the ink real well. Okay, let's see. Oh, I do like that. 
I do like it. Need something here, like a little word or something. Let's put these pieces down. Since I really like this layout so far. Oh, uh, and this is always the challenging part. Let that corner go where it didn't cut all the way. This is the challenging part. Oh, 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 nope. Thought I had it. If anybody has a good secret for getting the backs off of these labels, let me know. And you know what? That may not be, actually. Well, I think it is, though. Yep, there it goes. It'd help if I get it on there straight. It would really help. All right, so let's get that down. And then I've got this piece. And we'll use the wet sticky glue. And then we'll see what else I have. Oh, I have... Um, These other things that I pulled out, and I use them actually quite frequently. I really like them. They're little, um, or that bag. They're just little, they're stickers. Um, I don't want one to go over the flowers, though. I don't know if we want to do that. I would put one down here, but let's see. Nope. Too makes it too busy down there. So let's put that up. Let's see, what else do we want up here in the corner? I've got some pretty papers. Let me look at one other thing. I've got some, a box of small ephemera. Let's see if I have something in here. Oh, here's some little stuff. I haven't even had a sip of my coffee yet. Got so excited about creating. Let's see what we've got here in this little itty bitty. Not that one. I'm thinking something that's either round or There's a little label, and I could put a word in that label. So there's that option. Let's see what else we have. I've got this. Oops, and that's upside down. Nope, don't like it. I definitely need something with another shape to it. So let's... Oh, how about if we do that? I like that. That's what I was thinking was more of something round. So again, these things are all from the Your Creative Studio box. Do any of you other um, do any of you guys get it? Um, the Your Creative Studio box. Birdhouse didn't go on completely straight, but that's okay. 
Um, I got it for many, many months, and I loved getting them. And, I w and I've used pieces here and there. It's not that I don't use them. I just um, don't use up enough of them. So I need to make up some more goodie bags. This is not a label. So now I want to find a real tiny little word. Pardon my arm there. And I've got some real little tiny ones in here. That one says inspire. How about that right there? I like it. I really try not to spend too much time looking for ephemera, but I just can't help it. I got to go till I find something that looks just right. Okay, let's put down inspire. And I kind of like how that goes across. It gives it a little more interest. It goes across and not, you know, just it, it cuts up that edge around the and there we go. Um, how about just a little tiny piece of lace maybe behind that? I've got these laces here that... I don't know which way is the front and which way is the back. No, too much. I'm just going to keep it simple the way it is because I kind of like things being simple. All right. We're going to inspire you today. Oh, I hate when that happens. I get my my piece slides all the way across, so I'll have to go over that with my little glue eraser, which I don't see handy here right away. Um, I do want to ink around the edges of this. So we'll do that, and then I think it'll be done. And we are at 27 minutes. So that is just about the right amount of time. And then I have another little page in my Your Creative Studios mini journal. And there it is, folks. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? I love it. I love it. Just a little collage there. All right. That is my art before breakfast today. I'm really loving that. I think that's a nice addition to the little mini journal I've got going here. And um, I thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Have a great day.